Hey everybody, in this tutorial, it's first of all, it's Daniel Malone here, and first of all, we're going to be building this simple app. So it has, a, it has an icon here, and when I click on the icon, there we go, when I click on the icon, it displays a loading, a, a loading icon. So the floating action button here, it's just linked, and this could be used for anything. It could be used for like, say you're making a network request and you need to show a loading icon, or you're doing some backend processing, it's gonna take five or 10 seconds for whatever reason. It's nice to let the user know exactly what's going on. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just close that again and open it back up. I have loading icon. And again, so I can click anywhere, it doesn't do anything, but what's triggered in this sample app is whenever you click right there, it'll show the loading icon. So it's not that hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill this, and I'm gonna call this awesome app. And we're gonna go through here. I'm just gonna do a basic activity. Next, next, this will open it up in Android Studio. And as soon as it opens up, we can get started. It's gonna take a little bit of XML, or not XML, you can do it all in the UI editor. Uh, we're gonna be using constraint layout, but it'll take a little bit of Kotlin also, and this is taking forever, I'm not sure what's going on. Here we go. So it took a little bit for that to get, and then we have to wait for the build to finish. So here we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna select Hello World, and I'm gonna hit delete on my keyboard to get rid of that. Now, if you're in text mode, go into design mode, and if you don't see, if you don't see that, uh, if you don't see that, if you don't see common text buttons, etc., then just click on that right there, and that'll open it back up. So I think it's under widgets, and then there's a progress bar. So I'm gonna click and drag it, and I'm gonna drag it. See how the lines kind of like uh, they help you out. You can like align it to the left side, the right side, the top, the bottom. I'm gonna put it like right in the center, and I'm just gonna put it right there. Now I'm gonna go back into text mode, and if you'll notice here we have editor absolute X and L editor absolute Y. So what we wanna do is we want to kind of constrain it to the left and to the right and to the top and to the bottom. So that makes it perfectly in the center. And if we go back to here, we can see we no longer see the X, Y stuff. So this is good, and we can change the colors in a second, but first of all, we need to actually, well, let's go ahead and run it. So I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna go up here to the Run button, and I already have an emulator open up, I think, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select it from there. And then I'm gonna go down to my emulator. Here it is, and I, have, I think I have another video on how to set up the emulator. So let's just wait a second here while Gradle builds, and this is not going to be exactly what we want, but it's a good starting place. So just give it a couple more seconds, five or ten more seconds maybe, and here we go. Installing APK, and here we have it. So you notice right now, it's actually spinning, and I didn't even hit the floating action button yet. So it's automatically triggered just because it's in the XML. So just because it's in here, it's gonna start automatically. So how do we make it only show when we want it to show? Well, first I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna call this, uh, we're gonna call this awesome look icon. So with that selected, uh, oh yeah, and also if you don't see that, click on attributes right here, and that'll open, open and close that up. So we'll open up attributes, and we name it awesome icon. Now if we go over here, we can select Android app, Java, and then the first folder inside of there, which is the main activity. And we actually don't need all of this stuff. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of that. All we're left with is just this right here. And we can open and close that. That doesn't really count. But this is all you see here. So what we gonna do is you wanna say, hey, um, let's go back to the emulator actually. We wanna say, hey, every time somebody hits, everybody, every, every time somebody hits the button right there, we want, right now it's a toast a snack bar, but every time you hit the button right there, we want to show the loading icon. So let's, how do we do that? So let's do this. Let's go back to resources, layouts, activity main, and if we select that, we can see it has an ID of fab. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into here and we're gonna, inside of on create, again in main activity, which is found over there, we're gonna do fab dot set on click listener and I'm gonna choose that. And this basically says, hey, every time, so take the floating action button, and every time there's a click on it, do this code. So what do we wanna do? 
Well, if we go back to content main, we can see, hey, we gave this an idea of awesome icon. So we can access this here. So awesome icon dot set visibility equals, actually, let's get rid of that. What I want to do first is I want to go back to content and we want to hide it at first. So go over here, visibility gone. That's we want it gone. So I'm going to go ahead and run it just to make sure that it really is gone and just to prove to you that it really is gone. So give it a couple seconds and here we go. So we don't see it. And every time I hit the button there, it doesn't do anything. So what we want to do is we want to go back into main activity and we want to say, hey, every time the floating action button gets pressed on, we want to do, what do we want to do? We want to do awesome icon dot visibility equals view dot visible. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to run it, go back to the emulator. And if you notice, so there's no loading icon. And then when I hit on the floating action button there, the icon starts spinning and spinning. So now you could go to a new activity. So instead of a, instead of set, after you set it to visible, you can say, hey, after we get a network request or after we get some data, then we can go back in and, and you can do view.visible or gone. So if you want, to, want it to go away, you can do that. Not exactly that. There's a little bit more coding because it's inside of the floating action button. But just to show you, we can change colors also. So I'm gonna go to colors. And I'm going to pick some, actually I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to do CE0000. And I'm going to copy and paste that there. Uh, and if you don't want to do that, you can just click on the color over here on the left. And you can move it around. So there's that. And so, yeah, if you want to just pick your own colors, you can kind of, you know, you can pick any color you want. It doesn't matter. So I just picked those. They're just random numbers or random, uh, 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 random colors. So I'm going to go ahead and run it one more time. Go back to the emulator, and the color should have all changed. So let's see. Uh, no, nothing there. Click on that, and then we see the loading icon in black. Anyway, hope you learned something.